What's up guys, Jason here from VHS Productions, and today I am playing the beta for Holoception. Now this is a game that is in development right now. So the idea of this game is you have a little puppet here, and he mimics exactly what you're doing in third person. As you can notice, it does have full index controller support, so it has uh, the finger tracking, and you'll notice that my character also mimics my finger movements, which is really cool. Like You can give yourself the finger, <laughs> If you wanted to, you could give yourself the devil horns. It's really cool. I love this concept. This is a really awesome concept. So, as you can see, you have this little puppeteer guy. And he follows your movements. And completing random tasks in a third person view is is, is a little bit more challenging than you'd think. So, like, like take for example, you want to get this here apple. You try to pick it up. <laughs> it takes a little effort to do it, which is kind of the point of it. It's kind of, it's kind of a fun challenge of a game. So as you can see, I can control the camera as well. I can zoom in, zoom out, see my little fingers. Uh, this is the lobby area, which you can just play around within. You can grab yourself a cup of coffee here uh, <laughs> and have a little sip. Mm. Actually, no, it's, it says free coffee, but there's no, there's no coffee pot for some reason. You can draw on this board, which is a lot harder to draw in third person than you'd think. You can make a little game out of this where you can try to draw things and get people to guess what you're drawing. But you can see I'm trying to draw a happy face here, and it's it's not as easy as you'd think. You can erase it with the eraser. It's a little fun thing to do. You can grab a little oh, you got a duck here. Got a, a rift. Helmet here. May as well keep that on. Oh, and look, it's even got some some knuckles controllers or index controllers. Look, I'm wearing, I'm holding it backwards. <laughs> this little guy does nothing really. Can't really do anything. You can also interact with your guy a little bit. You can squish him down a little bit, play around with him. Really doesn't do much. Can I grab his helmet? No, can't really do much with him. So. What's available in this beta so far is a tutorial and one level where you fight uh, waves of bad guys. And the idea of this game is you fight bad guys and uh, earn money and points to keep upgrading your character and your weapons. Currently right now I've only got a couple weapons unlocked. Before you jump into a level you gotta kind of equip your weapons, throw it on my back, get that gun, put it on my holster. I think it's really cool, I love this idea. So I'm going to just show you the tutorial real quick. So the tutorial basically just tells you the controls. You just snap turn with your stick. You can uh, control the camera like I said I showed, showed you already. You can also do uh, time control so you can slow down time. Which I'll show you. I'll, I'll do the jump button and I'll slow down time. See? Now this, the slowing down time is really cool because it also makes you a lot more powerful. When you're punching and fighting guys, if you have if you slow down the time, you become like ten times more powerful. I'll show you an example in a bit. Now we have a little portal cube here. Whoa! <laughs> now we got some touch controllers. Yeah. <laughs> got a duck. Can't squeeze the duck. A little disappointing that I can't squeeze with the uh, index squeeze motion. But like I said, this is early beta. And uh, there's m much room for improvement. So yes, here we go. So you fight enemies, collect points, and upgrade your character and go through the portal and start over. It's very basic right now. There's, I'm sure there's lots planned. So I'm going to show you that, t uh, that uh, slow down time and how it uh, affects character. So normally, if you're just grabbing a guy like that and you just throw him normally, he's really heavy, see? can't get him anywhere so let's try that again now with slow down time Whoosh, see Wah! see now you can actually throw him a lot further so that's kind of how the idea of the Rah! oops <laughs> okay so I'm gonna show you the first level or the only level that's available at the moment you gotta grab your weapons before you go in there I've upgraded my weapons a little bit. Um, how you do that is you, this little thing right here. 
you can upgrade your character by pointing on these things. And if I had enough points or money, I'm level 2 right now. I could go to here and try to upgrade, but I don't have any points to do it. I've, I've upgraded as much as I could at the moment. So, you can upgrade your gun as well, the ammo, aiming, all that kind of stuff. But you need points, like again. Oh, I can go to level 2 of the bat. A little tricky. I find this uh, could use a little bit of improvement. Need more money, okay. And this could be a little bit bigger. Oh, maybe if I make it bigger. <laughs> you can, I forgot you can zoom, which would make this a lot easier. Yes, so there we go. I just figured that out. <laughs> okay, so we did the tutorial, so I'll show you the one and only level that we could play right now. There is a sandbox as well, but I tried it and unfortunately it caused major lag in my system. There's something wrong with it at the moment. It's in development, so. All right, so, oh my. We are uh, gonna do our first wave battle here. So we got our bat, grab our gun. Let's look for some guys. Oh, here we go. So, here we go. Uh. Now watch it when we slow down time. Ah, die, die, die. Ching, ching. <laughs> I believe you could jump higher if you slow down time as well. All right, lots of money. Well, let's try out the gun. Whoa. Oh, you gotta kind of, I find you gotta, the music is really loud. <laughs> ching, ching. Oh, and there's some ammo up here, I believe. You just go over it, yeah, to collect your gun ammo. Portal spawn. So now you can have a choice to go to the portal over there. So you can upgrade your characters, or you can keep going and risk it and get more points, but if you die, you lose them all. That's kind of how this works. I'm gonna take the portal just to, cause I'm, um, so I'm kind of, just, kind of doing a, uh, just kind of, got them kind of showing you how it all works. Normally, I would try and do a few rounds of that to try and earn as max points as I can. But like I said, I'm just kind of showing you what this is all about. So that's just a little rundown of Hollowception. This game has a ton of potential, and I love this whole idea of having a third-person puppet of yourself. It works really awesome, and I'm really looking forward to where this game goes with more levels and more weapons. This game is gonna be really awesome. But that's all I wanna show you guys today. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna show you some more gameplay as this game gets updated. So until next time, see ya.